Could Britain really be about to leave Europe? Not literally, of course. Its landmass may have detached itself from continental Europe some 8,000 years ago, but whatever happens, Britain will stay, physically, more or less where it is. However, on June the 23rd, voters will be asked whether they want to remain in the European Union, or if they'd rather head for the exit in a Brexit. And it could be close. The country is split down the middle. Those who want to leave invoke the Age of Empire, wartime spirit we shall never surrender and margaret thatcher no 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 they say the european union is overbearing costly and undemocratic and while many of their best friends are european they worry a lot about immigration those who want to remain are keen to remind people that as glorious as the second world war was for britain it's probably best we don't have a rematch they say that the EU has brought a historically bloodthirsty continent together, and its single market and free movement rules have benefited everyone. Leaving would put all that at risk. So who's saying what? Well, those in favour of remaining in the EU include the leaders of all the main UK political parties, all the leaders of all the other EU countries, Barack Obama, the IMF, and, well, Emma Thompson. On the other side, a more, how can we put it, eccentric cast of characters. The former mayor of London, Boris Johnson. UKIP leader and serial EU hater Nigel Farage. US presidential hopeful Donald Trump. Marine Le Pen of the French National Front. And <clears throat> Michael Caine. One thing everyone can agree on is that it's the biggest and most consequential decision British voters will make in a generation. That's if you don't count a recent public vote to name our brand new £300 million Arctic explorer, Booty McBoatface. What could go wrong? Before we start, I want to be absolutely clear about one thing. We are here to serve the British people, not the whims of some European imperialist state. 